Hey, hi guys. So as you probably know, Eddie Van Allen passed away recently. He was such a guitar player, especially for his double tapping technique. So today, as a tribute, we'll do four tapping exercises and we'll increase the difficulty with each exercise. But don't worry, this video is for any beginner or intermediate guitar player. Even if you never did tapping before, we'll saw the technique and after we'll do some more complex exercises. Okay, so let's have a look to the first one. Okay, so this first exercise is just to show you the basic of the technique. So for the tapping on the left hand, what we're gonna do is we will put our index on the second fret and we won't do anything with the index. We'll keep it there all along and we don't remove it, we don't do anything with the index. But with the ring finger, we'll come to do a hammer on the fifth fret. Okay, so you can see two ways to do that. Like me, you can use your ring finger or you can use your pinky. For today, I prefer to use my ring finger. It's maybe a bit easier for what we do today, but yeah, you should be able to do that with both fingers. And here for the hammer, what we're gonna do is we'll just tap And that's it. It's a simple hammer. You want to be really careful about not moving your ring finger too much. It's not like... You don't really have to do a big move or to push really strongly. It's just a matter of how fast you are. Now for the right hand, once again, you can use your index finger or your middle finger. Because if I play with a pick, it's just easier to use my middle finger. But if I play with my fingers, I can use both. So once again, it's up to you, but today I will use my middle finger. And what we're gonna do with our right hand is that we'll do a hammer and then we'll do a pull off. One thing really important is to block the other strings. So to block the G string, I have two ways. The first way, which is when I do my pull off, I can come here and block the G string by just putting my finger on it. But that's not really good because when I will remove my finger, I can have some noise, you know. So the best is to block the G string with our index there. And so the movement is hammer, pull off, hammer with our ring finger and that's it. So one, two, three. And last thing about the basic of tapping is in terms of rhythm, for today we'll count every time three times. One, two, three, one, two, three. finish on the three. One, two, three. It's not like one, two, three, four. Because if you count like that, it will be really hard to loop and to start again. Okay, so now let's move on to the second exercise. Okay, so the second exercise is all about moving our right hand. We'll come here to do our hammer and our pull off. And after we'll come there, so half step up on the 10th fret. So. And in terms of rhythm, there is a small trap because first we'll do that twice. Then we'll move to the 10th fret and we'll do that twice. But after we'll do So you just have to be careful with that. Once again we count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, if it's easier for you to do that. It's up to you and now let's have a look to the third exercise. 
But before that, I will ask you to leave a like if you enjoyed that video and please subscribe to support the channel. It's a big help for me and we are more than 400, 400. It's amazing guys, thank you so much for that. Okay, so with the second exercise, we saw how to move our right hand. Now we'll see how to move our left hand. It's a little bit more difficult in terms of timing. By the way, all the exercises are inspired by eruption of Eddie Van Allen. So to move our right hand, we'll have to be really accurate. Usually when you play guitar, you want to synchronize your right hand with your left hand. So, And you do your move between two notes. I play. I move and I play again. But if you want to play that really quickly, what you're gonna do, the best way to me is to move your left hand when you play your right hand. So, something like that. Like that, every time I want to play my pull off at the right hand, my left hand is already in place. So, we'll do the third exercise once again slowly. And now that we know how to move our left hand and our right hand, we do an exercise which combines both. So let's jump to the fourth and last exercise. Okay, so this last exercise is probably the most typical of Eddie Van Allen. So we'll use the chromatic scale. So the chromatic scale is just the fact to play two notes aside of each other. A very good example of that is Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. Here, every time, we'll move our left hand off half step, so one fret. And then, we'll move our right hand off one step to the 15th, and we'll start again. So obviously the transition part is the most difficult when you move from ear to ear. But also it's like the third exercise, you have to be careful to have your left hand ready when you do your pull off. And the last tip that I can give you is to work that really slowly. The biggest mistake that I saw is that people, they don't have any issue with tapping, with hammer and pull off, but they have issue with rhythm. If I try to increase the speed again and again and try to play as fast as Eddie Van Allen, it will be hard for me. So it's really better to, to just start slowly. I think you can start those exercises around 80 BPM maybe, or maybe less if you are a complete beginner to tapping and you can increase BPM by BPM. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to support the channel. You can also check out all the other exercises and lessons that I did. There are links in the description and I see you very soon. Cheers.